So we've got quite a lot of data associated with each person. We've got name, email, birth date, phone number, address, city and country. But in our table, we're only showing three columns, name, email and birth date. There's not enough room really to show the rest of it. So what I want to do now is as I click on a row, I want in a panel on the right hand side to show all the full details about that person. So to begin with, let's just start creating our HTML. Uh, so let's jump into our HTML file. Because we're using Twitter Bootstrap, we can actually very easily add uh, the table to a column on the left and have a panel of data on the right hand side. So I'm just gonna start adding in some of those HTML elements and yeah, I'm not gonna, you're not gonna see me typing code. I'm just gonna start copying and pasting stuff in. So the first thing is we're gonna have a row and the first column is gonna be size eight width. It's 12 in total. And the second column I want to have is size four. Let's close out that div and let's close out that whole row. Let me reformat the file, here we go. And so I want the table inside here, so I'm just gonna copy and paste it as is. And in the right hand column, I want to start showing a panel. So I'm gonna use uh, another feature of Twitter Bootstrap, which is the, the panel styles. And I'm just gonna put a blank panel in right now. So this is just a default panel. It's kind of a heading of detail. And this is where we're going to stick our details. But for now, it's blank. Uh, so let me just reformat the file again. And yep, we look good. So let's just see how this looks in our Chrome. And so there you go. So when I click on a row, I want to see details about that person in this right hand side panel. So let's jump back into our HTML file and take a look at how we might solve this problem. Now, it makes sense to deal with it here in our ng click function we're passing in the index but we could also just pass in the person itself and this is the way I prefer to do it it's going to pass in person as the first parameter and index as the second parameter so let's go into our main.js go back into our select person function we're going to pass in person now and the same way we did selected index, I now want to have selected person. And I'm going to attach person to it. And I might as well just add it, initialize it at the top. Okay, so now we have this selected person object that is has the person attached to it when the user clicks on the row. So now we can just do some very simple data binding on the index.html file to render that. So let's go back into the person body. Again, I'm just gonna like copy and paste stuff. So I'm gonna use the horizontal list element that you see in Bootstrap. So I just copied and pasted it in. So we've got a name and then I'm gonna show the uh, bind the selected person, which is the variable we attach the person to, show their name, their email, their birthday, again with the long date filter format, and the rest of the detail there as well. So let's just jump into the Chrome. Let's hit refresh. So nothing's been selected so far. And as, as I click on people's, on the rows, you're gonna see the details update on the right hand side.